That's your Star Wars box and wheels to take you to your hotel, folks. It doesn't get any better than that. Well, space fans, exciting news, huh? And there's even more in part two. Hello, this is your television speaking. Let's push the button marked idiot and see what comes out. You know what, folks? My man, Sam, he told me today, as much as I hate Disney, the fact that my coverage of their Star Wars, Star Cruiser, Space Hotels have kind of boosted my channel and got people to visit my stuff and uh, subscribe. And while you're at it, by the way, I've compiled all the videos I've made about the Star Wars Star Cruiser Hotel into one playlist. I've made about 10 or more videos so far, and the list keeps on growing, folks. So thanks to Sam, he's absolutely right. Like, the more of these videos I make, the more you guys seem to flock to my page and leave really kind comments. So, Ah, uh, I didn't actually report on this story straight away. I thought maybe it wasn't worth it, but then the more coverage I saw from other YouTubers, I thought, I've got to give you my take on this. So this just gets so funnier by the second. Unfortunately, there are no videos to accompany this video, so it's just going to be still images. But uh, courtesy of blogmickey.com, it's the first look. Well, this was the first look six days ago, but this is my first time telling you lovely people about this, so you might not actually be aware. First look, here's the box truck. It could just be a box, right? that will take transport guests between Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser and Galaxy's Edge. Wow, what a slim in pickings, right? So if we scroll down a little bit, and it's done by Mike, so Mike doesn't want to give away his surname. It could be uh, Michael Hunt, but I'll leave it at that and let you work that really rude phrase out for yourself. Now, as Disney finishes up work on the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser ahead of its opening date of March the 1st of this year, we have a first look at what appears to be a box that will take guests between the immersive, expensive hotel and Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> which probably isn't as expensive. At first, the rumor was that a bus, I said it might be a Toyota Space Cruiser. If you think about it, that kind of makes sense, right? Space Cruiser, see what, see what I did there? Uh, that could be outfitted with a highly themed interior and guests would feel like they are taking their transport shuttle down to the planet of Batu, AKA Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. As it turns out, it looks like Disney actually outfitted a box, we're gonna call it that, uh, disguised as a truck, uh, out of the story method of transport that will take guests on a roughly half a mile journey to Disney's Hollywood Studios. As a reminder, the docking bay that guests will arrive at is located near First Order Cargo and the milk stand. Are we talking about that milk stand by chance? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, do you know what? What makes me laugh about that particular paragraph? <laughs> you could probably get a ship freighter, maybe put the guests into that. That's kind of being an immersive. <laughs> I'm going into dark places, folks. You know what? I'm thinking somebody at Disney, maybe several people, in fact, might have a twisted sense of humor. What am I talking about? Well, put it this way. If you happen to be an unfortunate victim or persons of people smuggling across the border. You know what I'm talking about, Americans. And you happen to find yourself at this particular theme park and you're ushered into a vehicle or a box, as we're gonna call it. It might bring back PTSD moments of, well, of those memories. So you get what I mean? You're in a transporter vehicle, be like, no, get me out, get me out now. Oh, or you're just sitting there crapping your pants thinking, where's my destiny going to end? And I do feel sorry for the people that have forked up six grand and that's just the starting price to be in a space box all the way to, well, either from that hotel to Galaxy's Edge and back. It's, um, it's quite hilarious actually. And uh, wow, so that is, yeah, this is a photo I may have shown before. So that is your, um, well, it's either the front or back entrance. I will say no more about that one. And here's a look at the, <laughs> here's a look at the box truck. Just call it a box and wheels. As seen from 
Oh gosh, Oscar Loa. Oscar Loa. Oh my gosh, how do you say that word? Uh, Osceola. Osceola Parkway. A public road that travels next to the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. Well, we so we've got this under construction, folks. You've got a pretty green crane there, just to, like the font of my channel. I love that. And these look like leftover Christmas trees, which is kind of sad because we're now at the end of uh, January and into February, folks. So what's going on there, Disney? Cut down the Christmas trees. Uh, more construction is going on. As you can see, there's no workmen in sight. Site. Actually, it looks pretty invisible, doesn't it? You can't see any work people. Uh, like operating the cranes it's just like where is everybody gone is it a lunch break have they not started work yet are they picketing a strike for more money because I would be if I had to construct this it's um wow I don't know what to say so we have look if we go over to Twitter here now this is obviously uh, from bio reconstruct and this is an aerial view of the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel, which is on the left-hand side, past the Duchy on, uh, relative, re relative to the Galaxy's uh, Edge DHS. So there is the uh, that hotel there, the one at six grand. And on this side here, that is Galaxy's Edge. Transport shuttles, no, it's a box, fly between... <laughs> They don't fly! <laughs> it's a truck. It's a box with shuttle simulation inside. Gosh, this gets worse by the minute. All these innuendos pouring forth from my mouth. Now, the comments here are pretty funny, actually. So, <laughs> somebody simply called a B and they got following, they got lots of numbers following their in, uh, initial or their letter. A rail system would have been a much cooler, um, in my opinion. That's actually true. If you're thinking of a shuttle, you're thinking of saying, now, for you Americans, you won't know this, the Docklands Light Railway in London, in East London, where Ray Winston lives. You got like this really cool shuttle service that takes you from one end to another. It's really cool, actually. It's a pretty good ride. So SWG Galaxy's Edge, how do you know? You wouldn't see it. And of course, referring to the simulation inside, it's true. Uh, the new Jam Brady, I have to drive my car by the DHS parking lot to get there. Oh, okay. And SWG Galaxy's Edge replies, you can drive or use Disney buses if staying at other Disney hotels. Can I dare see what the other replies are in response to this? I don't want to know this. That's a longer ride over than I was thinking. Is it that is that the route the box truck will take to transport guests? Yes. <laughs> Bob Chapek, the man who famously cuts corners and his hair from the looks of it. Ah, what I'd love to be the fly in the wall when Bob is in the office of Susan Arnold, the person who's overseeing him now and his performance for the next, what, year or so before Susie says, well, Bob, you did your best, mate, but you're out. So I don't know, Bob is trying his best. I have worked for managers in American companies, Warner Brothers, to name a few, who do cut corners eventually, and I've never understood that working model. It makes no sense. If you've got a really great idea and a very successful business model, why, oh why, do you want to change it? It makes no sense. Disney, I know, I think I know what this is actually, because Bob Iger, uh, Chapek's predecessor, spent so much money buying properties like Marvel. Yeah, Kevin Feige's brain was in his ass that day when that happened and other things like Star Wars, ironically, that Disney are left in debt. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna charge customers six grand per hand to attend this hotel that's nothing like Total Recall. It is nothing like that at all, not even remotely. Instead, you're gonna be remotely placed into a box on wheels and you'll be seeing this uh, green screen image around you of the you, uh, of a, the galaxy far, far away, or in this case, it's approximately two feet away from your peripheral vision. I don't know. It is just, wow, this gets funnier and funnier. Disney, Disney reps, if you happen to watch this video of mine, please watch my playlist of your other videos. I love ribbing you. I do feel sorry for the employees as well. <laughs> How, how 
words. It looks like my car is here to take me to the Star Cruiser. Oh, that is hilarious. How Bowers, I should have said, go, and go away green. That is hilarious. Honestly, that's just too funny beyond words. Yeah, that's your, that's your Star Wars box and wheels to take you to your hotel, folks. It doesn't get any better than that. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Right. So here's the last thing I want to mention at Garrison McCraw. Oh my God, the Star Cruiser is just using Launch Bay costumes. This is just a mess. So this was, I forgot who the gentleman is on the left, but he's one of the big bosses. And uh, he basically visited uh, the, I think it was one of the, uh, one of the uh, rehearsal dates for the Star Cruiser. And uh, yeah, so if you notice the staff in the background, they look like the rejects who didn't make it on George Clooney's ER. They do, don't they? Even though the costumes here are blue and in the ER it was the custom green. But honestly, Disney is going to be like two or three years before they actually get back in the black again and not in the red as they currently are. So folks, did you enjoy this quick video today on the Star Wars Star Cruiser box on wheels that will take you to your hotel and a virtual reality simulation exercise that will you might as well just take drugs to get that experience and it probably cost you a lot less as well. Just go to your local pharmacist. But hey, I'm not a doctor nor a medical practitioner. I'm just a dude who likes to do this with his face all the time. And what a screwy head I am. So if you enjoyed this video today, folks, you know what to do already. Hit the subscribe button, lightsaber the like button, and I'll see you on my next video. Sorry, sir. Doing my best. Who made that man a gunner? I did, sir. He's my cousin. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. In the ass end of space, even aliens watch Jason King on Kung Fu Hot Dog. Duke Nukem approves this guy. <laughs>